We are going to IKEA today. Quite big. I think we're gonna be stuck in there for about an hour, hopefully less. So we got some lunch, we went to Subway, we got some wraps, some sandwiches and now we're gonna go in the queue and we're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully it's gonna be a productive shopping day because otherwise my boyfriend is gonna kill me for bringing him here and staying one hour in the queue and then getting nothing. So hopefully we're gonna get lots of stuff. So we got back from Ikea, it's almost 10 o'clock, uh, we've been gone for about 5 or 6 hours and we all, we've also been to Tesco to do some shopping because we ran out of groceries but we got quite a lot of stuff as you can see. I got some plants so I'm happy but I'm so exhausted and I'm gonna do the haul tomorrow because I've got this huge bag that's full of organizing stuff, storage just random bits and pieces and then flowers, I mean plants and then just uh, shelves that I wanted to buy so tomorrow we're gonna assemble everything today we're gonna relax, we're gonna eat something because we are starving and we're just gonna wait until tomorrow to build and assemble everything so we can start the whole now first things first I have this huge box here, this huge cardboard box that has a storage thingy inside. So basically I bought the Laiva bookcase, it was 15 pounds and I bought it because it's basically the cheapest alternative to the simple bookcase. But I also like the way it looks, it's very different. I will insert pictures here and I'll show you how it looks like once I've assembled it. But I really wanted it for a long time and it's perfect for storage and for display of smaller items. So let's start with the basics here. So I've got two of these jar food container storage thingies, how you want to call them. Each was 250, so five pounds in total. They are perfect for storing things like rice or just dry food. And it looks much better like this than just having a bunch of branded packaging on your shelf. I also got two bigger ones, which were 350 each. And I'm gonna use one for my cat's food and one for cereals. And again, they will look much better because everything I have is basically on display. And I don't like the way it looks. It's very cluttered, it's very colorful. And I wanna go for a more neutral vibe, which is why I bought these ones. Then I bought this storage thingy that was 350 and it's glass and it's hermetic. So I figured it would be great for coffee or tea, but since we don't really drink that much coffee, I'm not gonna waste a nice jar for it. I'm just gonna put tea inside. I also got this oven dish and basically I only got it for lasagna because I have a bigger oven dish that I used to make lasagna in and we don't really like to eat leftovers so there's a lot of food that's going to waste and we are struggling to eat the whole thing so I bought this one which is half of the one that I've got already so we won't waste any more lasagna we also got this which I believe it was like two pounds and my boyfriend got them so I'm just gonna throw them to them oh. We got these lint uh, rollers, these are just the rollers without the device, it was $2.25 and we always get some when we go to Ikea. We haven't really used lint rollers in a while but since we have Simba now I'm sure we're gonna use it a lot more on white clothes especially. I also got two of these lac shelves which are extremely lightweight and basically what I want to do to them so I'm renting, it's not like I can just drill holes whenever I please. So I'm gonna use command strips and I'm gonna DIY them and try to put them in a corner and hang plants on them because I think they look super super nice, super elegant and they were only five pounds each. And they really work with command strips because you can just add adhesive command strips on one side and then a hook or something on the other and it should be enough. Simba? No! Since I'm here, we also bought this spray can thingy 
but it's a flower one but we are not gonna use it for flowers we are actually gonna use it to train our cat because he likes to eat my plants as he's doing right now so all that i have to do is basically just show this thing to him and he knows that water comes out of it and he's scared so basically he won't eat my plants anymore we also got this glass bottle which to be honest i have no idea what i'm gonna do with it but it is so beautiful and it's got this floral motifs and it's just super elegant i will figure out something it's got a, a stopper here as well so it's super good for like oils or any liquid ingredients that you may have in a kitchen but it's so beautiful so i just couldn't stop myself from getting it i also got four of these vareira variera boxes i don't know how they call uh, they are 350 each but i like them because you can basically store anything you like and they look so nice on display I have uh, something like this where I keep my drinks, so like hot chocolate, coffee, uh, different kinds of sugar, uh, lattes and stuff like that and I'm just gonna put a label on one of the sides and it's so easy to grab it from the shelf, from the drawer, whatever you put it and just put something in it and store it nicely. I also got this Fin Fordella <laughs> um, cutting board, so it's one on grey and one on this turquoise, emerald green, something like that. We have two of them already, but we just got two more because they are super flexible, super easy to use and hide. We just put them, tuck them behind the shelf or something and they are so convenient. That's why we always buy them. They are only one pound, so when one looks too dirty or is greasy or is just too used, we're just throwing it away and we get another piece. I have two candles, one that's got raspberry and one that's got vanilla. Uh, they were both one pound and it's uh, called Singling. They're saying that it lasts 25 hours, I'm gonna see. Personally, I'm not a fan of any other candles than vanilla, that is my favorite scent. But I like this strawberry one, raspberry not strawberry, but it's so cheap, so might as well. I haven't lighted candles so far since we got a cat, so I'm gonna see how that goes. I hope he's smart enough to not burn himself. I also got two of these glass carafe with the cork stoppers. I think they look so nice and so boho, so uh, minimalist. You can put so many things inside them. I'm not sure what I will put, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. And they just look nice. And I got five glasses with these flamingo motifs because we used to have four. Uh, we broke three of them, so we bought five more to make a set. And they're just super fun, super summery, perfect for lemonades or stuff like that. You basically drink anything out of this. They had uh, bigger ones as well. These ones were one pound each. The bigger ones, I'm not sure how much they were. I believe it was 125 or 150, but it's basically the same thing, just in a larger scale. And that is it for the bag that we had. And now to the fun stuff. I have this spider plant and it's only one leaf affected. The rest looks pretty healthy to me. I'm probably gonna repot it in a bigger pot because I've heard that it sprouts babies and I really like the way it looks. I know they grow quite large, so I'm excited for that. Uh, they're not that hard to care for. They don't really need that much bright direct sunlight, so it should be fine. I intend to put it on the bookshelf that I bought and hopefully it's gonna look cool. And also got this pot, it was 350 to go with it and I think it looks super nice. It goes with the vibe of the bookcase and you'll see it later. Then I have this sort of palm, which I bought because it has new growings on the on here, in the soil. The soil looks pretty good. I need to repot it because the roots are already coming out of this small tiny pot. This is something that I didn't buy, but he wants to be in the hole as well, so say hi. Uh, this guy was only 175, so I just couldn't help myself. And I can see now that he's got another new leaf here. So he should be healthy enough to not die with me. <laughs> And I also bought this English Ivy, which is so beautiful. I loved it first time I saw it. I really wanted to buy one of these. It was three pounds. So again, IKEA for plants is extremely, extremely affordable. And I like that it's a bit variegated, variegated, variated. How do you call it? Variegated, I think, yeah. But hopefully it's gonna stay like this because I'm not gonna put it in a lot of direct sunlight. Basically, both the sides of my windows don't really get 
that much sunlight and the only sunlight that I get is in the middle of the day when the uh, flowers are prone to burning so I'm not gonna put them that close to a window um, but we'll see how, how this get going and the plant that I am the most excited for is this one near me which I think you've seen from the beginning of the clip which is a Monstera Deliciosa and I'm gonna open it with you so this is how it looks like it's super healthy it's got a lot of new growing at the bottom here the soil looks fine the only thing that concerns me is that it's gonna definitely need a most pole because our flat is quite small so we don't want it to go horizontally that much I'm gonna get a most pole from Amazon I, I believe they are about 8 or 10 pounds and hopefully this guy is just gonna climb on it and he's also got these new leaves that already has so many splits so he's quite healthy it's so beautiful i always wanted one of these i believe they're not that hard to care for not a lot of the ribs have these splits though so i will need to put it in a bit of more light than i would have wanted to but i think i'm just gonna keep moving it towards light when it's uh not the middle of the day and bring it out of the sunlight when it's the middle of the day so they won't get burned I love it and it was 15 pounds so for Monstera which is quite trendy nowadays people are charging more than 40 pounds for a size like this it's quite big and basically that was it for the haul I will either insert the clip of me building the shelf and uh, showing you how everything goes in this clip but most probably I will do another one when I show you how I'm gonna decorate and put all this stuff together and now I'm just gonna go uh, get ready to build this guy and assemble everything and put everything together I have a lot of cleaning up to do because my flat is a mess but I'm super happy because I have all these organizational stuff that are just the finishing touches for the apartment because we've been living here for close to a year and we've been decorated all the way but I think these are the finishing touches and the plants will have a huge, huge impact. I hope you like my vlog. I believe you should visit IKEA if you want plants, if you ask me, because yeah, they may not be the most taken care of plants, but they are pretty cheap. You can find healthy alternatives there as well. And you can basically find so many varieties of plants from Monsteras to Devil's Ivies. They had uh, flowering plants. They have so many things. This is just the one that I, I like. So I hope you liked my video. If you did, please subscribe. It would help me a lot. Like this video and leave a comment saying which products you usually buy from IKEA and if you ever tried to buy plants from them and if yes, what kind of plants. Thank you for watching this. See you next time. Take care. Bye.